Today, it's the 3rd of September. We're going to be talking about Athena and plenty of other opportunities in the market. NX Finance, Adjustrea Finance as well. Essentially, there's a whole movement around the multiply JLP aspect. So let's dive in. So crypto news today, Athena. So Athena is a protocol which we're currently doing a deep dive on. The research team is doing a deep dive on. It's gained a lot of traction very, very fast. And season three has, is now starting. So introducing season three. We wouldn't have probably been involved in season one or season two. However, basically, this is a stable coin. This is a stable coin that gets minted. It's a USD pegged coin. It's not like Luna and UST, but it does have, it's not like backed by, uh, it's not like money in the actual bank. Now, they had their supply go from 1.3 billion to just under 3 billion since the beginning of season two, which is very, very massive. And this is something that I'm not like, I'm not in love with it because I just don't understand it enough. But we can actually grab USDE on Camino and we can actually earn some of their point system. It's worthwhile having a look at it. They've expanded to multiple blockchains and I think it's probably going to continue to do pretty well because there's decent money behind it. So season two rewards will end on the 2nd of September and then 5% of the total ENA supply will be distributed as rewards. When this happens, I imagine the, the actual governance token will tank. Not financial advice, of course, but this is what I think is going to happen. But this is going to be distributed on the week of the 30th of September. It's it's probably a little bit too scary to go and short it, to be perfectly honest. So not really a, a major actionable there. The biggest actionable is we're going to start to see what kind of value we can capture if we start again now. We may be a little bit too late, but it's putting it on your radar. Maybe you actually got some of the NA yourself. Just in relation to like Wales, the largest 2K wallets will be subject to a lockup investing period of 50% with linear unlocks over six months. Now, this is their ENA token here. It did very well early on, too well, of course, and then it's down 84%. And right now, basically, it's basically bottomed, but I mean, it could certainly go lower. It's an interesting thing to see how this plays out because basically your stable coins have plenty of plenty of pull in this in the space and something that earns native yield is very, very attractive. I'll cover more of how this works as we finish our research. For now, just putting it on your radar. If you want to have a small allocation, you can go and get some in Camino and start to earn some points there. Okay, so just quickly with the, the token prices in general, Bitcoin's up a little bit, ETH down a little bit, and Sol's up a small amount. So we did bounce off that kind of $130 mark. I'm pretty confident that September isn't going to be that great. We were hoping for it would be good. And this is one of the annoying things. When you say something, you get more data, things don't change. So... My prediction now is not going to be great. However, with token 2049 and breakpoint coming around right there in the middle of September, there will be some opportunities. I'll be live in Singapore, so I'll update people on those. But basically, one thing I want to just point out is that September is usually bearish, while October tends to be, to be bullish. So if you're bored during this month, this is the time to get through all the videos that I've that I've put out and also try different dApps to actually work on gaining knowledge of a dApp so that when things start to turn on, you can just go in and out easily. Another good thing to know is that we can still have down. So this is related to the S&P 500. And I mean, stocks do lead pretty much everything. Uh, Non-presidential election year and the presidential election year, we still have these kind of down September and Octobers. They, we tend to, and then we start to creep on up as the election stuff starts to get underway. So if we are also not looking good in October, then just stay patient. We should be coming right by November. That's the data that I have. Random news here, but like Bitcoin Bitcoin wallets with 100 plus BTC hit a 17th month high. So overall, there is, you know, whales are accumulating. And now a little bit of just random dupe news or rather a dupe viewpoint. So with the dupe token, I, I like the dupe token a lot. And people ask, would you rather have dupe or JLP or something like that? And we're in this opportunity where we can have both. One important thing is with dupe, you must stake it and you must actually use it with active staking rewards. So if you don't have any allocation to dupe, not financial advice, but you may want to go and DCA in and get some. Having a look at the chart here, like obviously we're doing really well before and we've come on down. Like this is something that I'm probably bullish on and I want to just ping it every now and then so you don't actually uh, miss out. I don't think this is a 10 xer from this point. I, I just don't see that as a likelihood. So, And there'll be other things that will, will 10x, but this is something that should grow steadily. And then we can always take profits and we can put it into something we're going to be 10xing. And it can actually 10x. I just, as more and more supply comes out, I don't think it's necessarily going to have that kind of pumpamentals that 10xers do. And they normally only have these pumpamentals because they have a low supply. This has a high supply, a lot of tokens out there. So remember, you can just DCA or limit order right here at dupe.ag. Now, having a look at meme coins. Meme coins, of course, are the biggest attention. And in the last 24 hours, well, a lot of these I don't really know, 
Donald Trump, this has jumped up quite nicely. Uh, mother's up a little bit. And I think Whiff here, Whiff jumped up quite quickly. And this, the reason why I wanted to mention this is because yesterday we mentioned that at this point, it tends to outperform Bonk. And that's exactly what it did. So Whiff actually did, it surged to 11%. So if you bought some yesterday, you don't have to take profits if you don't want to. Whiff does outperform Bonk, even though I like Bonk a lot more. And I do think Bonk will do better. Like you'll get, you'll gain more rewards from staking it and opportunities and airdrops and, and visibility. However, Whiff is pretty good for those kind of short-term jumps. Uh, here, we don't have any ranges yet. We'll work on some ranges that will, of course, not be uh, financial advice, but some ranges which you, where you may want to buy and take profits and just kind of sell and buy in a range. You can just set limit orders or use Phoenix. And basically with this one, you can see it actually pumped up like 16%. From here to here maybe this is not completely accurate but bonk also jumped up as well and but it bumped up about eight percent or nine percent either way whiff did outperform in that bump now next bit of news so the good ftx could repay up to 16.3 billion to users and which is very bullish for solana a lot of people were involved in Solana. like solana users tended to use ftx more and the bad the sec claims it has the legal right to actually claim this now this is if if they do this, this is absolutely disgusting. And this is why, you know, we don't we don't like Gary Gensler as the chair of SE. Like people have lost millions and millions of dollars. People have committed suicide, all sorts of these things. They did things right. The actual thing that failed was not a web three company. It was in a web two company in the web three space. So I really hope we managed to get this money back. One thing to keep in mind, like it's a fraction of what it was, what it should actually be worth. So as an example, 10, 15% of what it would be worth compared to now. So that's, a, that's an unfortunate thing, especially if someone had a, like a lot of soul, like a couple of thousand soul, they sold it at lows and, and now, you know, you're getting 15, 20% of what it should be worth. So Jupe and Juice is doing a podcast. If you want to, if you're into this sort of thing, and now they're going to go for a grant from the Jupe DAO. So there'll be another vote coming up. So they've been doing doing well. And remember, these are just working groups. So just, in my opinion, with working groups, with this and Camino is going to have working groups in the future, you're just throwing stuff out there to see what works. If it works, perfect. If it doesn't work, it ends. Also, just be very, very mindful. There's a new way that you can be scammed. And this is very interesting. Slog has done a post on it. Basically, you buy a token and then it's burnt as soon as it gets into your wallet or it's burnt in you know, pretty much the same transaction, which means that it's not going to last very long, but people will start to use this. This is a token 2022 standard. And you can, of course, go, it has a permanent delegation on it, meaning that another wallet can control it. If you go to rugcheck.xyz, it says danger, permanent control enabled. You ever see that? Like, just skip it. And uh, this is also shown in dupe. So be very mindful. There's always going to be new ways to scam. Now to the Solana calendar, Make sure this is bookmarked. We'll check in every day. So Jupe and Juice is happening uh, today. There's a live proposal on case study, airdrop stuff, uh, Solana, Korea, Chain Week, Mixer. Some of these things I don't even know about. They just get put into the calendar, but they have relevance if you're in this country. One other thing, let's just give this a refresh. This just seems to have gone. Here we are. NX Finance IDO public round. This is happening now. We're going to cover it quickly now. Something I'm not necessarily super excited for or anything like that, but I do want to give you the information. It did sell out initially very, very quickly. So the whitelist cap round cap was full in two minutes. Remember, you just now it's public. You can just come here, connect your wallet, and this is the amount that they're actually aiming to raise. So uh, which is a total of like 21,000 sold, which is pretty, pretty hefty. We'll just have a quick look and see what that actually equates to right now. 21,000. Uh, I mean, 2.8 million dollars like in the middle of a bull not a lot but for something this this early it's a little bit sizable either way we don't have a huge amount of information regarding the token it's probably a release but it's just not released in one source where i've been able to find it this is the price per token and apparently the the whitelist and public rounds have the same initial price i'm unsure if you want to go and uh contribute here maybe you want to contribute a small amount i mean it does have a product market fit uh aspect where you can you know leverage up things it's always good to have these kind of tokens and it's coming out at like a uh, market cap like i think like a fully diluted valuation of 18 million and a market cap of 3 million something quite low now if nx finance ido goes well and keep in mind this is uh the initial price which is not in dollars so let's just convert that 0 0.000143 is that what it was let's just double check that sorry one less zero uh okay Sorry, it says right here, 19 cents per token, which is quite high. All right. So yeah, it's here. I mean, if it's going to come this, if it's going to fall from this point, from this IDO point until when the airdrop happens, then that's not going to be brilliant. But 
having a look at the points, if you have, well, 100 million, no one's really going to have 100 million points, I don't think. But if it comes out of this at this 20 cent cost, then 1 million points is going to give you $407. So one thing to keep in mind is you can go and use this app, put some money in, you don't have to buy the token, but you will get an airdrop of the token. And it's not like Dbridge where we were farming it, also wanting to use other blockchains potentially, but maybe just farming it. This is just go and put it in, put some funds in, actually leverage out your JLP, join the Seb Monty team, get some points. Hopefully you can capture like a million points. That could be worthwhile. How exactly the token's going to do? I don't know. I'm happy to like, just so you know, you've got a few days to enter into uh, the launch and we can discuss it more tomorrow. And sorry, here's the initial market cap, 3.85 million, fully diluted valuation. This and this NX price, I think should be put in, in US dollars as well. Okay. So we also have Adrestrea Finance. They're going to go through a rebrand, but you can check them out. Epoch One is now live. The cap was hit already. So now you have to turn on notifications and we have to see when we can jump in. This is the same deal as NX Finance. They've been building for longer though. As far as I'm aware, they already did like a kind of angel investing round last year and they applied for the LFG launch, but kind of too early. And I like them. I've met with the team and I think they're good. I don't have any token allocations or anything. There's no nothing to disclose here. Just keep in mind, turn on your notifications for the next chance we can get into hopefully Epoch One. It's basically the same as NX Finance and there's plenty of other things that do it like this. Come here, you open there. You can put in your your JLP, you can boost it up and you can put in your USDC and it's going to sub, it's going to borrow it from here. So you can you can do well on, on two different terms here. They were initially trying to do a different approach, which is why it took longer to come to market. Greed, track your progress with greed. If you're doing the greed lessons, make sure you remember there's a $100,000 reward pool. So make sure you actually do your greed lessons if you've got locked greed with their validator. Pum.fun is the fastest growing application, which I don't like to see. But at the same time, it shows that meme coins are certainly relevant. Also, Athena is the second, second fastest, which means that this certainly, even though I don't think it's amazing, it has product market fit. So good work with Pump until someone beats them. We'll see what happens. Fabiano has this great thread on them anal analyzing the most, the top 20 most hyped NFT projects of 2024. And this is one reason why I don't want to talk about NFTs really at the moment, moment because they're just not doing well. Hermans did well. I did say well, I was getting one to support it. And I'm just going to hold it. I'm not going to sell for a small profit. And and multiple other ones have not done well. I mean, Retardio Cousins, fine. Some have done really, really poorly, unfortunately. And then occasionally there's been like an absolute winner. But for the most part, it's not it's not doing terribly, terribly well. Some are going well. Like these ones, maybe that was worth getting into. Either all, NFTs are not back. Stay healthy during Solana Conference. If you go to Solana Conference and your gym, if there's no gym in your hotel, then they're giving free gym access. Click the link to find out to register some interest but i imagine there's going to be a gym in your in your hotel solana gang 4300 breakpoint attendees another 700 or a crisp round 5000 remember this is going to be different node panels only debates five minute keeps and this is how i want to do more of my podcasts not debating per se just adding more value with just transparency not just one person shields something another person shields something like where's the value in that uh and i've seen i've gone to things in lisbon where they just shield it's just rubbish there's no alpha remember come and book here and do it soon token 29 as well if you pay with usd you've got a few days until it all runs out if you're going to you may as well go for both uh use my code sebmonty10 and it'll take off 10 percent for the happy bird and this will be linked below but there are now's the time if you're going to breakpoint, you need to start going clicking on anything that you're interested in. Probably best to be a little bit selfish and oversubscribe to things than to and then to not show up, although don't do it too much, than it is to be missing out. Uh Sonarium as well, they're gonna be their title sponsor for token 29. So as I said, like if you can get to both, that's gonna be the best thing you can do. Swing by the booth to meet the team, see what they're working on. This is just still this time of this time of the cycle when we want to play on a few different layer ones out there. Remember, I've got this video here. Check it out and don't bring in chewing gum or vaping. Not allowed to vape. Legal to vape. Iggy's also doing a Lambo party. So if you've got some mother, I don't know much how much mother you need, but this could be very, very popular. However, see how it goes. If you jump into Discord, the party is September 20th. You can invite by connecting your wallet to confirm you have mother and playing a free slot machine. Unsure when we can see this link, we'll check it out. And so on, so on, so on. If you're a woman, you don't need an invite. You can just show up and gain access, which is fair, to be perfectly honest. The bar is open. Only the bottles cost money. Well, there you are, an open bar. Crazy. Uh, and you have to hold mother to enter the party. Just don't know how much yet. Join this. Check it out if you're actually going to be attending. So the actionables for the, for today. As usual, DCA Soul on dupe.ag and stake with validate.com. Buy a ledger. This is your time to grab a ledger while markets are kind of quiet before that portfolio. Hopefully 10, 20 Xs. 
do more fitness challenges, go to Witness the Fitness, get amongst it, book your tickets to Breakpoint and Token 2049, mint the Echelon exclusive on Base Network using ME Mobile. I worked out to be like five cents worth of gas. Uh, give that a go. And edge of action balls, remember, met points, don't fade them. Uh, Camino's Judo Soul and Soul Meteor Pool. We'll see if there's any other better pools that are rewarding us with something that's not going to have divergence loss. But for now, that's what it is. Minch Solana ID Priority Pass. It's not going to remind you as often about this, but I am properly bullish on it. Stake 20 million bonk with bonk rewards. Use Zelo Finance. A couple of dollars in DeFiCarrot.com. Use this code. This code is wrong. X Monty. And follow Crypto Class Link's Scenarium Airdrop Guide. That's all for today. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you in the next video.